Hey, what's up everybody? It's Webster bringing you guys a different kind of tutorial that um, I haven't done in a really long time. It's a Photoshop tutorial. It's how to make your YouTube channel background. Um, I just made this one today. It's it's alright. I mean, I'm not very good with Photoshop. I just kind of was like, yo, dog, let's, let's do this. So, yeah, here we, do, here we go. <clears throat> so, there's just a few things that this involves. Um, let me just get... Uh, my Photoshop up, up oh, past it. I'll just go to the right there. So uh, here's a basic. Well, can't talk today. A basic um, template for a YouTube background, and you can get this off of um, some guy's channel. I forgot who I got it from. His channel's in the description. Um, just hit the video will be in there, and then just go to his video and go to the link and go ahead and download it that's where i got it and i don't want to take credit for it so anyways once you guys have this um... template uh... just do as i as i do so first what you want to do is go into your layers tab um, so i think this is photoshop cs4 i think i don't know i just kinda got it let's see here can i bring it up no i can't bring it up i'm sorry guys but you want to go to your layers and add a new layer and make sure this layer is below the background <clears throat> box or your template, whatever you guys named your template. And when you have this layer, you want to go to the, you want to make sure you have it selected and then go to the gradient tool. Um, and then up on these little boxes, you want to make sure the first one on the very left is selected and you guys can mess with the color. Um, I'm just going to go with the color I have selected. And then you just want to put a straight line down the middle, like this, holding shift. Make sure you're holding shift or else it will not work. And now you'll have a little gradient background. And what you want to do from here is select your background box and then set the opacity down to where wherever you guys pretty much like, but where you can still where you can see the uh, um, gradient and, and like the blue and the white and stuff. So that's about right. 50% is pretty good. So now when you want, I want you to go back to layer. Oh god, I couldn't. Oh, and you want to have it selected again and then you want to go to filter um distort and where is it? Where is it? Where wave? And then just copy my settings for a number of generators you want 75 for wavelength you want minimum 40 uh, maximum of 41 amplitude minimum of 5 and max 150 horizon 100 and vertical 100 and undefined areas uh, repeat edge pixels and type sign and then you click OK and then you'll get these awesome little boxes and then you want to go back to filter um, back to the store and you want to click on polar coordinates now you want to make sure you have it set on 100 percent and let me just center this back up I don't know why I did that alright right there make sure it's set to 100 percent and click OK and there's the background um, it's pretty nice it's a pretty sweet background and now we get into the much more complicated stuff um, here it is I actually had more to this but it was the file size was too big so I couldn't use it but anyways here we go now to add that little text that you guys saw right around here, the big Webster, you want to go to your text tool and select horizontal text and just make a box. Now before you type anything, you want to make your font 425 PT. I don't know what PT is, but and then just put whatever you want. I'm just going to do Webster. Webster. And then you can't really see that right now, but don't worry about that. We will in a second. And then just go ahead and click over here so you, that you can see this. And yeah, just click over here. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Photoshop is not my thing, so I'm gonna be kind of stuttery. So once you are in here, just you want to double click on that layer, and you want to when this menu pops up, you want to click Drop Shadow, um, Bevel and Emboss, Contour, and then on Stroke, you want to actually go to the Stroke menu and set the structure, the uh, pixels to four and then click OK now you have something that looks like this it's still not done though you know so what you want to do from here is add a new layer and 
now what you want to do is you want to hold control or command if you're using a Mac and click on this little T right here and that'll select just this now you want to go back to the gradient tool and then again select um, change your colors whatever you guys want it doesn't matter um, I guess I'll do a different color I'll do I'll do that alright so now you want to hold shift and just drag a line straight across the uh, Webster and let go and as you guys see I have a different kind of gradient on right now um, it goes from dark to light if you guys want to change it to where what I had it at first like this you want to let me just first undo all that <clears throat> alright so if you guys want to change that come back up to right where these buttons are and then click this little one that has like a little triangle in it and then do that again oops add a new layer alright And now we have that kind of thing. And then to deselect it, just con just press Control D, and it will deselect it. So that's that. And then for the text on the side, I don't want to go too far into this tutorial just because it'll take a really long time. We're already up to six minutes, so I don't want to take up too much time. But what, pretty much what you want to do is just select the vertical type tool, and then just make more boxes. Obviously, set the font size down a lot, about 48 or something. And then I just did latest, I think, was. And, you know, change the color to what you guys like and go on from there. And when you guys are finished, make it make it kind of original. Just don't, don't steal the whole thing from me just because that's just kind of rude. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And pretty much if you guys if you guys didn't like my explanation of the background just look it up on YouTube it's called the starburst effect it there's tons of tutorials on YouTube about it just look it up and go from there so that's it guys thanks for watching um oh wow I just almost forgot a big thing when you guys are finished with it to actually save it you need to go to file save as name it whatever I'm just gonna random numbers and then you want to bring down this drop down menu and I suggest you select JPEG just because it's a smaller file size click save and then see how I have, on, I have it on low quality that's because I want the file size to be small if you have it on large size uh, a little more say about right there that's 324.2k I don't know what the K means but that's more than what YouTube accepts so we won't be able to put it on YouTube so make sure you set it on low so you can actually use it and that's it guys and there's just one more thing I have to show you guys in Colorado it's been just crazy I swear they're aliens look at that that looks that's a beam of light I got a series of pictures of it too there's that one and then it looks just looks like a huge bomb and then that was a lightning strike it's been crazy here. Just Colorado's going crazy with all the storms and stuff. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, comment on whatever those pictures or the actual tutorial. I'm sorry, I'm I'm not really that great with Photoshop, so please forgive me. But thanks for watching and please subscribe.